from doing something as simple as capturing what happened on video. Well, well, why don't you explain, you explain to, them uh, to the audience then what happened to you for for that video? Okay, the, the, what happened to me is the accusations. There are people with police badges on Facebook as their profile picture. So I'm sorry, but I automatically assume that they're affiliated with Rochester Police Department. They're calling me things like idiot. Um, the question posed to them was, why is there only so much of the footage in there and not footage that could have worked towards the benefit of the department. Well, the, the, the officer or whoever has the badge profile picture, the response was that's because pieces of crap, something people want to see good cops, um, see, see good cops lose their job, basically. I'm paraphrasing that. But my thing is, that's not the only thing. There's like I have a phys I have physical pictures on the same camera that that was taken on of them pulling me over when they when they um mm. arrested Michael Long after after for that incident. But all I was doing was shooting the camera, mm. and and the police made a statement, grab him right wow. now. And I'm sitting there like, no, you're not gonna grab me mm -hmm. because there there is a process to it. The process yes. is first of all let them know that you have the right to record yes. police actions. That's right. Secondly. And if you're not doing anything wrong, the why are you, you taking want. the camera from? Right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we have a process. I'm I, formally I'm a Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna hide that. But my thing is we we have what's called a, a a watch program in which we watch the actions of the officers, yes. where exactly what happened. If if there's something being wrong done to the people, I want to present that. That's Whether right. it's an officer or a civilian That's doing right. wrong to the people. That's you right. You see what I'm yes. saying? So if you Yes. Excuse me, but oh, his, himself is doing something wrong to another individual. civilian individual. I want that too. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yes. saying? So yes. that that's my point. I don't feel like I should have to walk around and every time a police car, car pass me, feel like, are they going to pull me over? Mm -hmm. um, are they going to call yes. me an idiot again? Yes. I, and then the accusation that I edited the, the footage. Right, right, right. Let me tell you this. Shortly after, you don't, do you mind? No. Shortly after I took the footage. I had no time to go into my residence, to my computer, and edit, which I am capable of doing. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong. I, I, I know how to edit video software. I'm a graphic designer by trade. But I never made it into my house before. I, I, I did what I had to do to try to get this, you know, the information to this reporter here. So in what time period did I have to edit? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. yes. Now they're saying that I conveniently taped it when I did. Okay. Well, you have a camera over there showing me going to my house. Mm -hmm. I, I did it. I ran to my house. I seen him pull up. I ran to my house to get the camera. Now that's the time lapse. I agree, 20 seconds. You know, so now they're saying I conveniently started it. Well, I, I, I let the other part go and didn't get this part. But what I need you to know is that I have an Android phone. This is a fact. This phone is over a year old. That's another fact. Another fact is that when you get a certain amount of applications in your mm -hmm, phone, mm -hmm. it slows other applications down, even down to the camera. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when you go to open your camera, sometimes it might not open as fast as you need it. Yes. yes. This is emphatically what happened. Mm -hmm. So who am I bothering? 
Yeah. That's why. Right. I know. I have a vocabulary. I have an education. So, you know. So you're dangerous. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a dangerous black man. Also, this is very important. One of your colleagues, see, just like the police need to police their own, you, in my view, need to police your own. One of your colleagues, the notorious Bob Lunsbury, yes. is helping to inflame and spread the rumors about the film being edited. I've heard him and say I'm that so. several times. And so you, I know you all know Bob. You ought to tell him to have some integrity so that it doesn't take away from your profession, which many of us are suspicious of already. <laughs> Make it plain, sir. Brother Howard, I want to add to that, too, because if you go on one of Lonsbury's thread, every once in a while I'll do that and have, see people call me all kinds of names and yes, stuff. Yes. But he said something September 11th, which I'm really aroused within me a sense of doom. Mm. Lonsbury said that the RPD should be PO'd for what happened. And therefore, go right on to his thread. And therefore, the, the, the RPD needs to go on to Hudson Avenue in the Northeast <coughs> area and round up every <coughs> criminal scum they can. Oh my mm. God. Now that's the language he used. Mm. That's the language he used. It's like he is attempting to instigate mm. and stir up. Right, that's bigot. This community Jesus, yeah. Jesus. and the police relative to black folk. Mm -hmm. Now, if you think I'm lying, I have no reason to lie. They know it. It's right on there. Right. So Lonsbury is a menace, and we need to call for his firing. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. What did he say again? He said that the RPD should be PO'd and round up and clean Hudson Avenue mm -hmm. from every scum. Mm -hmm. Criminal scum that exists. Okay, that's, that's what he said. That and that's right. inflaming. That's, yes, yeah. it is. that's the closet bigot there. Racial attitudes. That's demagoguery. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's calling mm -hmm. for. Yes, 